it was surrounded by the beautiful peaks of Riednaun that the 21-22 IBU Cup season closed, with a Norwegian and a French finishing at the top of the total scores. In the men's competitions, Erland Bjontegård initially ran the risk of becoming an eternal second, as he finished just behind the winners in four competitions from Shushan to Bresno. However, despite not winning once, the Norwegian's consistency saw him at the top of the men total score as the Open European Championships in Arber kicked off. Here, he finally finished at the top of the podium by claiming the sprint, which extended his advantage in the race to the big globe. Mixed results in Nove Mesto and Lenzerheide didn't affect his standings, and the Globe was his to lose by the last IBU Cup in Riedna. Here, the Norwegian claimed a convincing win in the sprint, effectively cementing his position at the top of the total score standing. My goal for, for this season was to qualify for the Olympics. When I didn't get a shot at the World Cup before Christmas, I, I kind of understand that, okay, bye-bye Olympics. I knew immediately that uh, uh, the IBU Cup overall uh, were going to be my goal uh, this season. What maybe made me the most proud about this season is that I kind of maintained my focus on, on biathlon. I do believe there is a, a good biathlete in here. Uh, I do believe that I have a good potential that I haven't reached yet. I just have to find the right motivation and um, we'll see. After a stint in the World Cup, Lou Jean Monod had a challenging return to the IBU Cup as a French athlete failed to finish once on the podium in the first half of the season. Her fortune started to change when she claimed silver with her teammate Emilia Claude in the single mixed relay during the Open European Championships in Arve. But what really put her on track for the big globe was a third place in the super sprint in Lenzerheide, followed by another third place in the next day's Mass Start 60, which put her at the top of the total score. then kicked off the final IBU Cup with a first ever senior individual win, claiming the sprint in Riednau. The stage was then set for the season's last pursuit, with Jean Monod leading the race for the Big Globe, 31 points ahead of Ragnhild Femstein. Before the pursuit, I never started a, a pursuit with Big Number One, so it was really, really stressful. But despite the pressure, Jean Monod stayed in the lead for most of the competition, only faltering at the final shoot with two misses. She nevertheless claimed the third spot and secured the big low. I didn't uh, thought about winning the overall uh, globe, but uh, my goal was to uh, reach a World Cup, what I didn't achieve uh, yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm happy because I achieved to, uh, to be um, a regular in uh, the season. Maybe next season I will uh, start uh, in the World Cup. I think more than the globe, this is a really interesting thing uh, in, uh, by winning it, because uh, yes, uh, this ticket is uh, to follow me with my name on it, so it will be a, a good thing to start there. <laughs>